Good morning, everybody, and welcome back. My name is Joel, and this is A Stable Life. All the horses are just waking up for the morning. The donkeys, ever so ready for their food. We're going to head on over and give them their grain. We are also at the time of the year where the donkeys are going to start getting hay. You guys have seen that the donkeys get hay in the evenings, but they have these two pastures here, and we don't want our donkeys to founder. But the grass has stopped growing, so... That means that they're going to be getting hay. And it looks like they ate all of it. We have the water bowls plugged in. There's the cows, there's the horses. Temperature last night was in the high 20s, but moving forward, it's looking like we're going to be having higher temperatures in the evenings, maybe in the mid 30s, which means we could take our blankets off the horses. And speaking of horses, let's go ahead and let in this next group. Yeah, good morning, Roni. Roni's got a little bit of thrush. That's why he was limping a little bit there. But we're treating that, and you can see the results are speaking for themselves. Hey, William. Hey, Champ. Hey, Rebel. Hey, George. And then there's Jack. Our hay feeders are empty. I'm going to have to go out and see exactly how empty. We might need to be feeding two round bales in the middle field. What? I know. Crazy. Let's see. All right. Let's let in the big field. Yeah. Boys all bundled up. <laughs> Let's see. Oh yeah, looking good. We'll have to top this up a little bit. I'll fill that while I'm taking the blankets off the horses. The donkey water actually looks like it needs to be topped up as well. Oh, I'm not saying good morning to you guys, I'm sorry. I'm just looking out at the horses. I hope you guys were too. <laughs> hey Argento, hey Duke, hey Casino, hey Weather. Looks like Archer's got a tail strap hanging back there, but other than that, he looks good. Look how fluffy Buster's gotten, guys. Yeah, so fluffy. Right, Buster? So fluffy. I was barking at the cows. All right, I wanna go get you guys your hay before I get the horses their hay, okay? I'll be right back. There you go, Buster. Yeah, I got some fresh food for you too, Rocky. There you go, boys. Too cute. Alrighty guys, we have finished up with hay. Ended up putting about four round bales out. Two in the middle field and two in the big field. I feel like that should definitely cover for the colder nights. Keeping the horses happy and healthy, right? Right, Swain? So now I'm gonna get started on blanketing, or I should say de-blanketing. <laughs> we're gonna be taking all their blankets off and then letting them out one by one. So we're gonna bring things on over to a time lapse of the horses in the pasture. I hope you guys enjoy them being let out because once I take a blanket off the horse, we let them right into the pasture. That way they can go ahead and get to their day being a horse. Alright, there we go. All the horses are out. There is, looks like about five that are trying to get some grass. The last little bit that's growing. Uh, looks like Poncho's down there sleeping. And in the middle field, both feeders are being used, which is good. So I'm looking forward to getting that structure finished. As you saw in the last video, we are working with the Veggie Boys, and that is the same today. We're going to be working over with the Veggie Boys. There is a couple of things uh, that uh, still need to get finished up over there before I'm done working with the Veggie Boys for the season. So I'm going to go over there and continue my work on that. That way the farm's in good shape for spring. Everything's locked up here. Horse stable is good to chill for the day. So let's move on to the next part of the day. So the goal for today is to finish spreading the last of that cow manure that I was spreading yesterday. And I'd like to get hooked up to the rotary chopper and get started cleaning off the fields. We have a number of fields that basically border woods, get that cleaned up. And we also have a couple fields that need to be cleaned up. And then of course I have a lot of rotary chopping to do once corn harvest starts. So let's go ahead and start up this tractor, the brandy new one. Oh, it still smells like a new tractor. I love it. We'll just let her start warming up. Huh. Looks pretty good. 
We're gonna give it a couple seconds to warm up. Once that's done, we'll get started rotary chopping. Um, I don't know how much I'll get to today because it's already 11 a.m. We'll see what I'm hooking up to. Usually when I'm rotary chopping, it's either the 130 or the 110. The 110 is a little underpowered for the chopper and a little underweight. We might be hooking up to the 130 because it's got the power and the weight. However, the 120 is also a perfect setup for running the rotary chopper. But it's just a matter of what the veggie boys would like me to use for chopping. If they'd like me to be in the 130, I'm more than happy to be. I like that we park all our tractors together. It's so cool. All right, I'm gonna check and make sure the spreader's good. Pin, check. Safety chain, check. Hydraulics, check. PTO, check. String, check. Tires, good. Anything lodged in the beaters? No. Tires, good. Okay, let's head on down and see how the veggie boys are doing. Well, Pete, what do you think of the new tractor? I like it. <laughs> it's pretty sweet. It, it fits you perfectly over there. Yes, it does. You're like right at home in this one. Got a nice big heavy load. I think this is the heaviest load of the spreader loads we've had. To update you, I think we only got one more load of manure and that'll be it. And then they're talking that that'll be it for manure for the season, for 2023 season. So if that's the case, then big season, big season for manure. After that, that's my understanding that I need to help them do some potatoes just because we're a little short staffed right now. Some of the family is on vacation. We are very happy for them and hope that they're having a great time. But that does mean that we're a little short on workers around the farm. So all of us are trying to pitch in where we can. So for now, I'm gonna enjoy spreading this load and the following load of manure. Then we'll do some potatoes and we'll see where we're at at that point. Hey, did you hit that like button yet? And don't forget to subscribe. The rest of the cows are over the hill. Crisis averted. are hanging down, stocks are dried out. I think the corn's ready to go. Just need some dry weather. Could be threshing corn today. Corn harvest is on its way. Well, as you guys can see, we have the rotary chopper hooked up to the 120. It's nice, everything's looking good. We just gotta give it a little bit of grease and then we're ready to go. We washed- Two bins of potatoes. And moved three, sorting that out. And that was pretty much my afternoon. So we're now here feeding horses a little early by about four minutes. Uh, we're gonna take care of the horses here and then we're gonna use what's left of our day and do some rotary chopping. I'm gathering Pete is here to help. Yes. Yes, I am here to help. So feeding this afternoon is pretty straightforward. Let's get started. We have feeding just about taken care of. They're all in finishing up. <laughs> I can't. And suede. 
Hi, Archer. Archer's coming over to say hi. Oh, 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 uh, yeah. Well, you know, one thing's nice, Petey. All that dusty sound is out there, and none of it's really coming through. It's actually pretty quiet here. Just in case you guys are wondering what we're doing, this is the old pumpkin patch. So we're mowing the pumpkin patch. And it all looking flush to our right. That is the hay field for the horses, and that has been freshly taken off. So if you look behind us, you can see how things are going to look once this is all mowed. We only really have enough time to mow this field for tonight, but that's okay. I got a lot of chopping ahead of me, and we're going to take this nice and easy. Also, in case you're curious and wondering why it is that those pumpkins weren't picked, they either were rotten at the time of harvest, or they had been attacked by animals and were no longer good for humans. So they stayed out here for the animals to use until they didn't want them anymore, and now they'll be put back into the ground. Well, that was just about all we were able to do. Look how good this wheat field looks though, huh? It's pretty exciting. So today was pretty much just about getting the kinks worked out, and making sure that everything works the way it should. And I wouldn't say everything's working the way it should, but it is working. And uh, we're definitely getting things ironed out, so we're able to make it work. And there's uh, a little bit of love that that rotary chopper needs. Tractor, doing good. I'm actually pretty pleased with it. The lack of sound that comes through in the cab is something that I'm really going to appreciate on the long days won't be having a headache when I'm going home, which is nice. The glorious rock pile. That is a big pile of rocks. It is a big pile of rocks. Did not look like that when we were picking rocks. No, it didn't. It got bigger somehow. Yeah. And the clean field that the rocks came out of. I kid you not, guys, we only got two rows out, two rows back. If you ask me, I could probably be out here all night running the tractor, rotary chopping, but I have a beautiful and lovely wife that I'm heading home to, so I am gonna be heading home. I just wanted to show you guys how the field looks once the rock picker went through it. As you can see, the real small stuff the rock picker leaves behind. All this little stuff here, this stuff the rock picker actually leaves, but it takes out all the big stuff, the stuff that breaks equipment, all the problem stuff. That's the stuff that we don't want, right, Pete? Right. Well, Pete, I think it's time to end the video. Pete, hit him with the reminders. Don't forget to hit that like button and make sure you're subscribed. And as always, we'll, we'll see, see you in the next one. one.